C++ operator precedence. We are having so many different operators and we should know that how the precedences have got defined and also we should know the associativity whether it is left to right or right to left associative. So, here is a discussion for us. So, operator precedence determines the grouping of items in an expression. This affects how an expression is evaluated. Certain operators have higher precedence than others. So, operator precedence will decide that in a big expression, which is the expression which will be evaluated at first, which is having the priority higher than the others. So, as an example, we can easily say that multiplication operator star is having the precedence higher than the plus operator. For example, x is equal to 7 plus 3 star 2. In this case, this 7 plus 3 star 2 will have the value will produce the value 13 and that will be assigned to x because star is having the precedence higher than plus. So, 3 into 2 6 will be calculated at first and then that 6 will be added up with 7 and then 13 will be the resultant value and that will be assigned to x. So, that is the operator precedence. Here operators with the highest precedence appear at the top of the table and those with the lowest precedence will be coming at the lower part of the table. So, now we are going to have the operator precedence table where the highest operator will, will be at the top, the highest precedence operator will be at the top and lowest precedence operator will be coming at the bottom. So, here is the, is the postfix. So, this is the respective operators and they are their associativity is like to your left to right unary. So, this is my, my multiplicative. So, here we are having this star, there is a multiplication slash for the division and percentage that is for the remainder of the division modulus. So, here we are having this additive shift relational equality bitwise and bitwise or bitwise or logical and logical or conditional this is the assignment operators and then comma and their respective associativity are in front of us. So, this is a list from the higher precedence to the least precedence we have done the listing here and this is a way in which and the respective operator lists are with us and the respective associativity. So, I think it will be clear let us go for one C++ programming for the better understanding. So, here we are having A, B, C, D four variables with initialized they are of the type integer and INTE is uninitialized integer variable. So, now I have written so many different expressions and the calculated values are getting dumped on getting assigned on E and we are going to print the value of E as well. So, this is the respective expressions we are having. So, we are testing with different expression forms and we are expecting what will be the value going to be here. So, B into C will be done at first then then the by D will be done next and that will get added with the value of A. In this way, the values have got listed. I think it will be better if you go for one practical demonstration where in our editor we shall type our code, we shall compile and run and you shall go for further explanation to clear your all doubts and it will bring a more clarification for you. So, please watch the demonstration right now. So, let us explain the output of this program and here we shall explain line by line what is happening. So, here this a, b, c, d, e these are the variables we defined a, b, c, d they are having their initial values as 20, 10, 15 and 5 respectively e is defined but uninitialized. So, a plus b means here 30 into 15 by d. So, 30 into 15 by this d, d means 5. So, here we are supposed to get the value as 90. So, in the first line the expression will produce the output as 90. So, we have defined this uh, this e, e has got initialized with this expression's output and the value of e is getting printed at the end. Okay. Now, in the second case what is happening you are finding this one as a plus b. So, that is 30 into c that is 30 into 15. So, that is 450 by D. So, D here is 5. So, again we are getting back this 90. So, as an as an output. 
So, in case of the third one, a plus b is 30 and c by d is 15 by 5 is 3. So, 13, 30 into 3, so 90 will be the output respectively. But in the last expression, b into c, so b is 10, c is 15, so b into c is 150 by d. So, 150 by d here, we are getting this d as equal to 5, so 30 and a is equal to 20, so 20 plus 30, so 50 will be the respective output. Yes, we are getting this 50 as the respective output. In this way, uh, using this operator precedence and using this particular program, how the outputs are getting obtained, we have explained line by line. Thanks for watching this video.